Indigo is the oldest natural dye known to man. From being the most magical dye to a central role in slavery and colonization to its resurgence in sustainable fashion, the history of indigo is worth knowing. In the heart of Indus Valley grew this magical plant called indigo that was India's gift to the world of color. This knowledge of extracting blue color from the green leaves of indigo was a closely guarded secret within the family, passed on from generation to generation. Indigo was being processed into small cakes by peasant producers for many centuries. It was exported through trade routes and reached Europe. The Greeks call this blue pigment indicon, meaning a product from India, and this word became indigo in English. After Greeks and Portuguese exported this dye, came the British, who commercialized indigo cultivation in 1770s. Indigo was a precious commodity because plant leaves contained a very small amount of the dye, only about two to four percent. Imagine the quantity of leaves needed as it gained popularity and thus became a hot demand in Europe. This blue gold that was the color for the royalty and gods became a bane for the indigo growers in India who were trapped in a cycle of debt and torture. Demand for indigo dramatically increased during the industrial revolution in part due to the popularity of Levi's blue denim jeans. The natural extraction process was expensive and could not produce the mass quantities required for the burgeoning garment industry. So chemists began searching for synthetic methods of producing this dye and in 1880s Adolf von Baer discovered synthetic indigo. However, Synthetic indigo was still similar to natural indigo when it came to reduction process. Indigo became the blue associated with denim cloth and blue jeans, which is an eye wash today because most of the denims and clothes that you see now are dyed with sulfur dyes, not indigo. The most serious problem that results from the use of sulphur is severe water contamination. Hence, the need to go back to natural indigo is the need of the hour. A bigger challenge is to still work with safe reducing agents to activate this natural indigo in its leuco form. There are practically no answers in this area. This is where we Kala Ashram steps in to offer the much needed solution. With the incessant research and vision of our master dyer at Kala Ashram, we have reduced the process of developing natural indigo from a rather unsure long process of several days to two hours. We do not use caustic lye or sodium hydrosulfide that most indigo dyers use, as it is toxic for ecology. At Kala Ashram, we teach you how to make your own natural indigo vat. Come, immerse yourself in mood indigo. Let us revive the love for natural indigo. Let us restore the balance in ecology. <laughs>